Hey guys, Tony here. Um, I did want to update you guys on an unusual options activity uh, float that I saw for for Afria or APHA. I think this, this is a weed company, right? I actually had have one of my um, uh, one of my followers actually uh, uh, like a really good follower asked me about this company and where I think it's headed. Um, personally, I don't, I can't really recommend anything off of weed stocks because I don't really trade weed stocks all that much. Um, so I, as far as I mean, I'll do TA for you guys. I'll do the options float for you guys. But as far as recommendations or or my opinion on it, take it with an, when it, with an extreme grain of salt because I'm not too familiar with how weed stocks react. I'm not sure how they're regulari- regulated. I don't personally smoke any weed. So I don't know what the actual trend is. I don't know what the current news is. And I don't know what you know certain bills are passed or things like that. You know. So with that being said, I did find a pretty, um, pretty weird, unusual uh, activity for this one, uh, which is the $18 put. Um, roughly for, for, for APHA, there's not, a, there's not a lot of money that goes into it. Usually, um, I know before when you have like, you know, unusual options activities for like, you know, Tesla or Apple or Google, they tend to be in the millions. But when it comes to these smaller, um, these smaller, uh, these smaller companies, these smaller cap companies, right? Um, they tend to have smaller unusual options activities, maybe like in the hundred thousands or in the tens of thousands, or maybe there's not anything going on for a certain month. And maybe there's maybe one specific position that, that stands out, right? And for this one, it's actually March 12th, and they're the $18 puts. Um, I did find that uh, there's, there's, a, there's a volume flow of $450,000, right? A little bit higher than that. But w- w- what's odd is that there is no, there's this, this more than likely is one person. One person on this specific play because... The, the rest of that month for March or the rest of that day for March 12th, there's absolutely nothing going on. The, the volume for everything else is like not zero, but it's like if, if you can expect it for, to be from one to like 10, um, you want to rate like like rate it or, or tier it. Right. Um, March 12th is like a two. There's like no activity going on that day at all. But for this specific uh, this specific option, there, there's there's a huge volume flow on this, which is absolutely super weird. <clears throat> and it's and it's. um. About four, a little bit higher than four hundred and fifty thousand dollars. So I just wanted to let you guys know. Again, I don't really know too much about wheat stocks, so take everything that I say when I give my opinion on this with a grain of salt. Um, the good thing is though that option floats are not necessarily my opinion. It's just data, and it's just data for you guys to use to actually make your own trades and do whatever you want, right? But as far as APHA or you know Afria, I think that's what it's calling or Afria. Um, that's that's what I'm looking at here. It's about four hundred fifty dollars into that March twelfth. Um, eighteen dollar put, uh, which is you know, what like a month out. I think I might actually play this just to kind of play this, right? I think I I, I don't usually play my options, my option floats. I do play maybe like I don't know sixty seventy percent of it. Um, they tend to, they tend to hit so far. So, <clears throat> um, but like I said, it's we don't know if they're a hedge. We don't know if if it's actually somebody's position or whatever, right? Nobody knows. But, um, I do think this one I might actually you know buy one just to kind of just to kind of test it out right it's only 100 like 150 bucks so it's not too much uh, but still just letting you guys know 450,000 volume flow on these random March 12 18 puts which is absolutely you know it's abnormal so I'll, I'll let it go there